We have completed fixed bias configuration of JFET and now in this lecture I will explain self bias configuration following the mathematical approach. In the next lecture we will follow the graphical approach. You can see the configuration on your screen and if you compare self bias configuration with fixed bias configuration you will find there are two differences. There are two differences and let's talk about these two differences. In case of fixed bias configuration there are two DC supplies. The first one is VDD and the second one is VGG. But in case of self bias configuration you can see there is only one DC supply that is VDD. There is only one DC supply that is VDD and VGG you can see is absent. So we can say that self bias configuration is better than fixed bias configuration because we only have one DC supply. Two DC sources are not required in case of self bias configuration. And the next thing is resistance RS. This is the second difference. In case of self bias configuration we have one extra resistance that is source resistance RS. So these are the two differences and now we will try to simplify this circuit. We are performing the DC analysis and we already know C1 and C2 are the coupling capacitors. C1 and C2 are the coupling capacitors and they are open circuited for DC signal. So I will remove the portion of the circuit which will not come into the picture. So this is how the circuit will look. We can further simplify this circuit. We know current through resistance RG is the gate current IG and the gate current, the gate current IG in case of field effect transistors is nearly equal to 0 amp. So voltage drop across resistance RG, let's call it VRG is equal to 0 volt. So we can short circuit resistance RG. So I will replace resistance RG with short circuit like this and if you want you can join these two points because potential at this point is 0 volt and also potential at this point is equal to 0 volt. We have to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and if I connect these two points it will be more clear. Our prime aim is to find out the operating point, the Q point. The Y coordinate of Q point is current ID and the X coordinate of Q point is voltage VGS. So VGS is the X coordinate and drain current ID is the Y coordinate and we write, we write Q to represent they are coordinates of operating point. I will first find out VGS and for this I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop. I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop and we have, we have minus VGS, minus VGS because input voltage is VGS with this polarity. Then we have voltage drop across resistance RS and let's call the voltage drop across resistance RS as VRS. So we have minus of VRS equal to 0. Now let's try to find out VRS. Current in this branch is the drain current ID and current in this branch is the source current IS and we already know the property of field effect transistors. The drain current is equal to the source current. This is the property of FET. So we have minus VGS minus IS multiplied with RS source current multiplied with resistance RS and IS we can write as ID. So finally we are going to get VGS as minus ID RS. This is important to remember because we will use it to find out the drain current ID. And if you compare this VGS with the VGS obtained in case of fixed bias configuration, you will find we had 
VGS equal to minus VGG. So VGS was fixed in the earlier case, but in this case VGS is not fixed. It depends on the drain current ID. So let's try to find out the drain current ID. We already know the Shockley's equation. I will write down the Shockley's equation. Drain current ID is equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 minus VGS by VP, the pinch of voltage whole square. This is the Shockley's equation and the VGS obtained in this case is VGS Q. You can write Q to represent it is the coordinate of operating point and also this drain current ID we can write as IDQ but I will not write down IDQ because we have to derive the drain current and writing down Q every time will make things messy. So we will go with ID and we already know it is the coordinate of operating point so we can write it as IDQ. We know VGS it is equal to minus IDRS so I will put it here and then we will simplify it. Let's see what we have. ID equal to IDSS inside the bracket 1 plus IDRS over pinch of voltage VP whole square or we can write or we can write drain current ID is equal to IDSS inside the bracket VP plus IDRS over VP whole square. We can write this as this and uh, we can also we can also take out the pinch of voltage and we can write it as IDSS by VP square. So this is what we have. I am going to simplify this. I will consider VP as A and IDRS as B. So I have A plus B whole square and A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. So the drain current in next step I will write as IDSS over VP square inside the bracket VP square because A is VP and we have A square plus ID square RS square ID square RS square because we have B square and ID RS is B and then we have twice of VP ID RS this is what we have now I will open the bracket and let's see what it will give us on the right hand side IDSS over VP square multiplied with VP square will give us IDSS plus IDSS over VP square multiplied with ID square RS square will give us will give us IDSS RS square over VP square multiplied with drain current ID square then the last term is I D S S V P will cancel out and in the denominator we will have V P instead of V P square we will have V P because V P will be cancelled out. So I D S S multiplied with resistance R S and 2 will be there over V P multiplied with I D and on the left hand side we have the drain current I D. We can also subtract drain current ID on both the sides and this will give us 0 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we will have minus ID along with the initial terms and we are doing all this to have the quadratic equation. In the next step we will have I D square I D square inside the bracket IDSS RS square over VP square IDSS RS square over VP square plus plus drain current ID drain current ID I will take ID common from these two terms and this will give me twice of 
IDSS multiplied with RS over VP minus 1 and then finally we have IDSS IDSS equal to 0 I will divide both the sides by IDSS RS square over VP square and this will give me ID square plus plus twice of IDSS RS minus VP over VP divided by IDSS RS square over VP square right multiplied with ID plus IDSS divided by divided by IDSS RS square over VP square IDSS IDSS will cancel out and obviously we have equal to 0 and we have RS in the denominator and VP square in the numerator so I will write it down quickly we have VP square over RS square VP square over RS square you can also simplify this and uh, we can say this is constant and this is also constant if you see them closely you will find all the terms in this are constant and VP RS are also constant so VP square by RS square is constant let's say this constant here is k1 and this constant here is k2 so we have i d square plus constant k1 i d plus constant k2 equal to 0 so this is what we have and this is the quadratic equation and you can easily solve this quadratic equation to get the appropriate solution of i d you have to get solution for drain current ID and as it is quadratic equation you will get two solutions for drain current ID you have to choose the appropriate one and once you have the drain current ID you can easily substitute the value of drain current ID in this equation in equation number one to have value of VGS put ID here and you will have you will have VGS in the next part of this lecture we will find out the output voltage the output voltage is drain to source voltage VDS and for this we will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the output loop we will start from VDD and we will end at ground 0 volt so we have VDD VDD drop across resistance RD is equal to ID RD so minus ID RD then we have minus VDS minus VDS after this we will subtract the drop across resistance RS which is equal to IS RS and instead of writing IS I will write down ID because they are same so ID RS equal to 0 volt so VDS is equal to VDD minus ID inside the bracket resistance RD plus resistance RS so this is how you have to find out the output voltage VDS and we already have the operating point the two coordinates are VGS Q and and ID Q so this is all for this lecture and you can clearly see it is complicated to calculate the drain current in this case as, as compared to the last case and this is because this is because VGS VGS is dependent on ID it is not fixed like it is not equal to minus VGG it is equal to minus IDRS and in this scenario it is not very convenient to follow the mathematical approach I will show you how graphical approach is much better as compared to the mathematical approach. So see you in the next lecture.